Live from the News Hub here at Adesawa in Kanda, Accra. Good evening. Welcome to the Late News on TV3 here at the News Hub in Kanda. Also live on DSTV channel 279 and on our live stream on Facebook and on 3news.com. Tonight, Ghana Beyond Aid Committee demands an apology and written explanation from the one who was tasked to produce the artwork for the cover page of its charter and strategy document. We will be telling you more about that shortly. First, let's take a look at the highlights. In the highlights tonight, Pratchett West District has been identified as a major destination for child trafficking and child labor. Our reporter Peter Kwao Adoto, who joined a study tour by the Center for Human Rights, Conflict and Peace Studies at the University of Education, Winneba, to the district's report, seven children, seven child laborers were rescued within a spate of two hours on the lake. Also, four Hours of torrential rains have destroyed all essential drugs and items at a chief's compound at Bakado, a suburb of Esikado, Ketan, in the Sekendi Takradi metropolis. Meanwhile, residents in the community are also counting their losses after properties running into thousands of cities were destroyed. In other stories, journalists of Ghana's leading media organization, Media General, won seven awards at the maiden GJA Ashanti Media Awards in Kumasi. The journalists who have been churning out compelling development-oriented stories were honored for impactful stories. On the international front tonight, President Donald Trump has said Boris Johnson would be an excellent choice for the Conservative Party leadership. In an interview with his son ahead of his visit to the UK, Trump said, Said, I think Boris will do a very good job. And in sports tonight, Liverpool erased the disappointment of last season's Champions League final loss by claiming the trophy for the sixth time with victory over Tottenham in Madrid. We have the details of these stories and more shortly, but first, let's do the big one. In the big one tonight, the Ghana Beyond Aid Committee has demanded an apology and written explanation from the one who was tasked to produce the artwork for the cover page of its charter and strategy document. In a letter addressed to one Richmond Bansa, the committee lamented the action of the designer has brought serious embarrassment to President Akufwadu, who launched the document on May 1, as well as a senior minister who heads the committee. The committee wants the said Richmond Bansa to explain why he used a picture from Kenya for the cover of the document. The Ghana Beyond Aid Committee, led by Senior Minister Yao Osafumafo, in a statement on Friday, said it had come to its attention that the cover photo of the document emanates from Kenya and that the committee apologizes unreservedly to the President and the nation for this error and takes full responsibility for it. It said it is ensuring that the cover page of the document is replaced before it is printed in bulk. The cover page of the document depicted high-rise buildings over green landscape, but the image turned out to be from Kenya capital Nairobi, with one of the buildings in sight being the headquarters of Dawit Insurance in Nairobi. But the MP for Kumbungu in the northern region, Ras Mubarak, wants members of the Ghana Beyond Aid Committee to resign for using Kenya's skyline as cover for the Ghana Beyond Aid Charter. So let's stay a while longer on this story and speak with Member of Parliament for Kumbungu, Ras Mubarak, who joins me on the phone. Good evening to you, sir. You're live on News at 10 on TV3. Why the call for all the 20 member committee to resign when they have duly apologized? Well, thanks very much. Um, I'm sure you might have seen the comments 
from uh, Ghanaians across the country. Uh, this is an incident that has exceedingly embarrassed all of us. It has made Ghana and the people of Ghana the butt of public jokes, not just within Ghana, but also across the world. And I'm sure you might have seen online comments from Kenyans as well, who are bashing us left, right, and center, and mocking us. Ghana is a beautiful country by all standards. There are beautiful landscapes that could have been used, you know, beautiful skylines that could have been used for that particular purpose. And if you look at the caliber of people, you know, who are on the committee, one, one wonders why such a monumental, you know, such, a, 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 such an a, a egregious, you know, a blunder would, would, would occur. And clearly for me, to have allowed His Excellency the President to launch the program with a photoshopped, you know, skyline from Nairobi clearly is something that, that is unforgivable. And that is why I am of the uh, view that the entire membership of the uh, committee, if they are honorable enough, would, you know, uh, tender their re resignation so that um, His Excellency the President would have an opportunity to um, uh, appoint others who would, who would have a keen eye to detail, who would pay attention mm. to detail, you know. Mm. And I've, I've also seen comments from members of government attempting to downplay it. But clearly this is not something that they can downplay. Mm. Um, the argument is that, well, it's just a cover page. But, well, indeed, you know, uh, the document couldn't have been launched without a cover page. Yes, yeah, so, so you know, this is not the first error. time we're having such an issue or a case of an error in a book or on a page. We had um, the issue that came with the brochure where Kenya's president, Ruru Kenyatta, was made president of Ghana in the official program of one of our Independence Day celebrations. And we also had the, a part of the president's speech being plagiarized. Don't you think it's just an issue of lack of attention to detail? And so we should be looking at that and uh, not necessarily calling for people's heads or resignation? Well, as embarrassing as that incident, um, 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 uh, as that issue of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta being referred to as the president of Ghana is, for this one, this is actually theft of intellectual property. Somebody had shot the um, uh, images, you know, there was no credit to whichever photographer took the images. More so, it was photoshopped from another country as if to say you know there's nothing pleasing to the eye in ghana and for which reason you know we had had to uh, uh pick up images from somewhere who are we trying mm. to, to, to 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 fool you know and again if you look at um, his excellency's uh, uh plagiarized speeches i mean these are things that 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 should not go unpunished i know it's unfortunate that Persons who had put together the speech were not punished, but certainly we have seen a repetition in a worse form of, of attempted intellectual property, an issue that has made us the butt of public joke globally. And that is why I feel that, you know, uh, the men and women on the committee yeah. ought to do the, the horrible thing by resigning. Look, when people do the wrong thing, mm. we, sh we shouldn't encourage them to stay on the job. They, and, and I'm saying this because um, it is about Ghana. It is about, our, it is about our integrity and image. Some of the members of the committee are my friends, but unfortunately for such egregious blunder, it certainly cannot go unpunished. So b beyond calling for their resignation, what else can we do to avert such embarrassing situations going forward? No, going forward, uh, uh, jobs and appointments would have to be given to people who actually, who actually pay attention to detail. So it's not about the chain of degrees one has. You know, you look at the track record of the person's work elsewhere, you know. But if we're going to look at the number of people who are PhD holders on the committee, it's, it, it, it's a disgrace to the academia that... You know, there are persons who hold PhDs, and, and, and it makes one wonder how they were able to qualify for, 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 for their doctorate. Because at that level, you would expect certain level of seriousness, certain 
attention to detail. This is an honor done them by His Excellency the President, who have been called among many equally qualified Ghanaians to serve on the committee. It's a great honor. And I think they have brought shame onto themselves. So go, go, going forward, what do we do to avert such situations? The deed has already been done. The harm has already been done, and that's what I, what I, why I think that if they don't resign honorably, His Excellency, the President should master the courage and fire them. We must make example of people who have showed crass incompetence. And until we begin to, you know, uh, 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 make scapegoats of people like that, clearly incidences like these will continue to happen in our country. The, 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 the writers of the President's plagiarized speech were left off the hook, and now we have another major scandal on our hands. Mm. And I think this time around, you know, the president ought to do the right thing. All right. All right. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Res Mubarak is Member of Parliament for Kumbungo. You are still watching news at 10 on TV3, also live on DSTV channel 279. We're back with more after this break. Don't go away. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us on News at 10. Now, people in authority have been urged to give equal opportunities to women who qualify to take up leadership positions in society. At a program to promote gender equality, speakers pushed for the participation of women in decision-making processes at all levels. Adolescents. Many girls are able to voice their feelings and demonstrate a strong sense of self-confidence. According to CARE, adolescence is a time of psychological risk and heightened vulnerability for girls. This notwithstanding, many girls are unable to take up leadership positions when they grow up owing to low self-esteem, lack of opportunities and low self-confidence. It is in this light that 59 girls in leadership positions from the St. John Senior High School, Amasaman Senior High School, and other junior high schools in the Ganoth municipality are to benefit from a mentorship and transformational training. TV3 News anchor and UNICEF menstrual ambassador Wendy Lai, who advised the girls on menstrual hygiene, also mentored them on taking up leadership roles. The girls' governance camp organized by Leading Ladies Network offered me the opportunity to share my experience with about 59 young ladies. We spoke about leadership and social development. We also spoke about a very critical topic which has become a global concern and that is menstruation. Some students received sanitary parts. Administrator of Leading Ladies Network, Felicia Mensa, urged Ghanaians to support girls who take up leadership roles. One of the sessions we had was start to build confidence and realize that menstrual health, especially when they are in their menses, and some of them, it affects their confidence, especially when somebody sees them and they have sold themselves, they kind of feel shy. But we, we wanted them to know that it's part of what women go through. Co-founder of Leader Freak International, Leticia Ohini Efa, expressed her support in ensuring good leadership among women in the country. Some students also shared their experiences on menstruation. This program is really educative. It's very helpful. And it teaches you to be confident. It teaches you to be humble. It teaches you to help you be an independent woman. We shouldn't allow ourselves to engage in these cultures that our elders and other people engage in, like shutting you close because you're menstruating. Maybe you're not supposed to cook. It's all part of things that are breaking self-confidence in girls. When um, you're menstruating, you shouldn't feel shy about it. For instance, if you go somewhere, you shouldn't let your emotions or what you're going through, like for instance, if you get an abdominal cramp, you shouldn't let it overtake what you are doing. The Leading Ladies Network is a non-profit organization that nurtures, trains and serves as a resource base for women and girls to enhance their development as leaders for positive social change. Enthusiastic. 
Now, journalists of Ghana's leading media organization, Media General, won seven awards at the Maiden GJA Ashanti Media Awards in Kumasi. Their journalists who have been churning out compelling development-oriented stories were honored for impactful stories. Broadcast journalist Beatrice Piogabra, who was the only female among 21 journalists shortlisted, won in two categories, Best Health Reporting and Best HIV and AIDS Reporting, while Ibrahim Abubakar emerged the best journalist in TV feature, with Benjamin Adu receiving the Best Journalist in Sports Reporting Award. Ibrahim was also adjudged the second best journalist in agriculture reporting and again the second best journalist in SME reporting. Benjamin Adu also received the award for the second best journalist in culture and tourism reporting. Media General's Bureau Chief for the Northern Sector, Kofi Edu Domfe, was honored for exemplary and inspiring journalism. Chairman of the National Media Commission chastised some journalists for misinforming the public. The National Media Commission is marshalling all resources to ensure integrity in the profession. We have an image we have an integrity and we must maintain it because the relationship between us and the public is not bought, it's trust. When we lose the trust, we will forfeit them and that will be very, very dangerous. Regional Chairman of the GJA, Kingsley Hope, touched on the need for journalists to champion the fight against climate change. We need to fight the negative effects of climate change which is a significant challenge to achieving sustainable development and threatens to drag millions of people into grinding poverty. Director of the Forest Research Institute of Ghana, Dr. Daniel Enim Ofori, emphasized the significant role journalists play in ensuring environmental sustainability. President of the Ghana Journalists Association, Dr. Roland Afelmoni, stated as part of its 70th anniversary, the GJA will launch a war on sanitation. Our foremost agenda is to repurpose journalism. This will mean moving journalism, moving the paradigm from the obsessive and compulsive politics to journalism which will sharpen its focus on social ills like sanitation, water, roads, social infrastructure. We have surplus of politics and deficits. Other media houses and personalities received awards for their contribution to journalism in the region. Congratulations to the team in the Ashanti region and the entire media general team. Let's keep soaring higher there. But that's it for tonight's edition of News at 10, which was live on TV3 and also live on DSTV channel 279. My name is Grace Hamoasari. I'm black and proud.